that lost to San Antonio 114-106. This is the first game after the break. They're going to be at home, but it's going to be against Denver. Now, we'll see if they can get it inside. Zion outside. Man, he'll follow his own. We're not surprised. First bucket of the game belongs to Z. You can't teach that. So four-point lead for Oklahoma City. Pace is going to be important. Pels need it against a team that's 23rd in the league in pace. Pels are third. And Ooh, Drew, watch out. bully ball, watch out. give it to Zion. Watch out. He'll get the roll. Drew's got the dive. And that's a great move by Drew, actually collapsing their defense and giving Zion almost like a, a, like a football play. So the Pels have it. Lonzo Ball back out there with Etwan Moore. Z is there. Zion Williamson up against Steven Adams, who's giving him space. He's coming back with the strong side. We Good know luck. that. And he's going Good to the luck. line. Good luck. What a, what a touch. That, that's the thing. What people are doing, and they're, they're putting bids. This is why I say he's a matchup nightmare. Who can handle it? Schroeder almost threw it away. Nader knows clock is down. Don't stop. Man, it'll be Nader blocked away by Zion. Not a bad recovery. The denial. <laughs> See, and, and the thing is, if you're going to keep this small lineup in, if you're Billy Donovan, then Abdul Nader is going to have to make Zion pay at this end. And his shot, very similar trajectory to Nikhil Alexander-Walker. They're both big I, arc. I'll I, I tell you what I like about Shea Gilders' Alexander game. Yes! How about that backdoor line? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, 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 please. <laughs> that, was, that, that was a lot more impressive than what I was about to say. His career and upbringing on this latest edition of Pelicans Insider, which airs right before Pelicans Live every game day. All right, Jen. We'll look forward to watching that. Hearing more now. They go right away out of the break. Good pass. Great pass. Derek Favors from Zion. Big to me. And that's one of the things that's underrated about Zion. People are talking about his ability to score, his athletic ability, his power, his agility. He has a very high basketball IQ. Good practice for Gallinari. Zion a little fall away over Gallinari. They should have five-point game. The right decisions, but you have to understand time score situation and game flow as well. He's got four turnovers with one assist so far. Zion going hard to the hole on the boy. How about the roll? See the thing is, see that that's simple basketball right there. There was nothing complicated about that. So the, the, the mismatch because of the transition. It'll be Chris Paul. He fell on his own. And Zion clears out. Up against Dort. Nice jump. He saw it coming. Three-point game, and he's up to 21 in county. Again, there's a benefit to switching Zion out on some of these guards. Right. That's the second or third time that he switched out, and what happens is now you have Zion leaking out in transition with someone smaller on it. You need J.J. Redding, so when do you give him a quick blow? Adams again just sitting in the paint, not guarding anybody. Ooh, J.J. Ooh. Nice move. Ooh. Zion back up. Hey, oh. Yes. A quick Two second jump. Game. Offensive to challenge the shot. J.J. Redick with Zion. That's just strong. I'm you telling you, it. that's it's just strong. It's only even a 101. That's Zion's strong. up to 27. They wanted J.J. Redick out of the break. Ferguson denied him completely. And Zion, can he save it? He does. Good work. Now Lonzo sets it up for Zion. And how about that finish? Big man. Zion has Ritter, the water bug, going to the rack. And take it away by J.J. Redick on the steal. Don't have numbers. Drew waits. He has a lot. You got it. Good decision. And a lead for the Pels by what. one. Boy, patience paid off. Right, and again, I, I, the thing about Lonzo is his ability to see plays develop and then make a team play, pay when they make errors. He saw that all the way from half court. Frustrating night for the Pels. It's just, it was a hill they couldn't get over the top of. They kept making runs, but they kept falling behind by six, by eight, and then finally, 13.